In this Halloween tutorial, I will be showing you how to turn yourself into two different types of witches. You can choose between a sexy witch or a more realistic witch. I hope you enjoy and let's begin. I mixed a white and green face paint I bought for $1 each together to get a green color that was perfect for me. I then applied the color to any exposed skin. You can use a makeup brush to apply the face paint or pat it on with a makeup sponge, which I prefer to do because it gives you even coverage without all the brush streaks. Now I'm taking my 168 eyeshadow palette, which I received from my Beauty Mark Cosmetics, and I will be patting a lime green eyeshadow all over my face as my base color. This will set the face paint, which helps prevent the face paint from creasing and smudging. I used a yellow eyeshadow as my highlight color and applied it right under the inner corner of my eyes, blending it toward my nose and then along the highest area of my cheekbones. Next, I'm using a dark forest green eyeshadow as my contour color. I blend it into my crease and under my lower lash line. I then use it to contour my nose. When contouring my nose, I bring the eyeshadow up into my brow. I then make the fishy face and contour my cheekbones. You can have fun with your contouring since this is Halloween and being dramatic is better than playing it safe. I use the same eyeshadow to shade my jawline, temples, and forehead, and also to contour the outer corner of my lips. You're going to use three different shades of the same color like you've already seen me use, ranging from lightest to darkest. That way you have a base color, highlight, and contour. This helps the face paint not appear so flat and gives depth to your face. On the eyelid, I used the olive green eyeshadow, and to smoke out the look, I blended a black eyeshadow into the outer V. Around the tear duct, I applied a light yellow eyeshadow. Now fill in your brows with an eyeshadow darker than your natural hair color. In my case, I used a black eyeshadow and I dramatized the shape of my brow by extending it and creating a higher arch. If you like, apply fake eyelashes. I then chose to apply one third of a spider lash strip to the outer corner of my lower lash line. For my lips, I applied a silver eyeshadow as my base color, and then a purple color just on the edges of the lip as a lip liner. If you like to be a more realistic witch, you'll need to get some nose and scar wax and make a rough draft of the nose you desire. Now apply some liquid latex to the area you will be applying the wax. When the liquid latex is almost dry, take your wax and apply it to your nose and start blending the edges of the wax onto your skin. You can use a moisturizer to help smooth out the wax. Then you apply the makeup to your nose the exact same way you applied it to your skin beforehand. Go ahead and paint your hands after you've applied your makeup, just because you don't want to smear it, you're like, anything onto your hands, does that even make sense? I don't know. But then you are finished. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it. In my last video, I asked you guys, who was your favorite comic book character? It was pretty hard to find a clear-cut winner for this question because it seemed like everyone had a different favorite character. But the ones that seemed to stand out the most were Wonder Woman and Rogue. As for the most popular man, it was Batman, and this comment shows 
The only reason why I would choose Batman as my favorite character is because of Christian Bale. Duh. So that's going to bring me to the question for this video. Who is your celebrity crush? Mine's plain as simple as Tom Welling from Smallville. He's been my celebrity crush ever since I don't even know, like for a really long time when I saw the Smallville pilot episode and it hasn't changed since. So let me know your celebrity crush in the comments below and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.